it's Eleanor, and I have a slight problem. So this month, I told myself, I said, look, Eleanor, you have a huge TBR pile, you shouldn't buy any more books, you just have to read all the books that you're meant to read and then go out and buy new books. But instead of listening to my very clever previous self, what I did this month was I bought 16 new books. So I thought I'd share them with you today. So the first three books that I got were from the London Review Bookshop. Now this is an independent bookshop which is just off the British Museum in London and I love this shop so much. So the first book I got was Searching for Sappho by Philip Freeman. The way, this, the way that I kind of, you know, excused myself for buying the first book was that, oh, you know, I'm studying Sappho at the moment for my extended project, oh, I need a book on her, and you know, it's, because it's, so, it, it'll be useful for my studies, etc, etc, which is a fair point, but it's got all her poems in it, and it's got analysis on her poems, and it's just, it's going to be really, really helpful for my project, which is looking at her poems, so... I'm actually really excited to start working on this, and it's really pretty as well. From this bookshop, I also got two of the Little Black Penguin classics. Um, I already mentioned them in my newbie tag, I think it was. Um, and I find them really helpful because they're so small and they're just really useful and really interesting. So the first one I got is Oscar Wilde, Only Dull People Are Brilliant at Breakfast. And it is basically, I think, just a collection of his great quotes. Like, I love Oscar Wilde. I think he comes out with some great one-liners and his quotes are great. So, you know, just to have all of them together is really nice. And I also got John Keats, The Eve of St. Agnes, is basically a collection of three of his... What is that? Oh, it's my receipt. Um, it's a collection of three of his poems. Four, four, one, two, three, four, five of his poems. Which, The Eve of St. Agnes, The Belle Dance Sans Merci, which I've studied uh, last year, uh, Lamia, Ota Psyche, and Ode on a Grecian Urn. And I really liked uh, Keats when I did uh, La Belle Dance Sans Merci. Um, so I think it'd be really interesting and fun to read that. So I went on holiday in August and I, we basically, we were in Scotland and we went to Scotland's National Book Town, which is Wigton, kind of in the southwest. And naturally, you go to Scotland's National Book Town, there's a lot of bookshops, and you go into the bookshops and you buy a lot of books. So I went into two of them, two bookshops, and I brought a number of books, which I will now show you. So the first book that I bookshop that I went to had a really cool sign out the front, which kind of drew me in anyway. Um, and I got four books from there, and the first book I got was The Pyramids of Egypt, uh, which is basically part of the Pelican collection, and I think I might have mentioned that I already have a Pelican book. My other book, Pelican book, is on Byzantium art, and they're just, they look really, really interesting. I don't know much about the pyramids, really, and I don't know much about Byzantium art either, and it's just gonna help me more with that kind of knowledge, so it's all about that. I also got some more Aristophanes, which I mentioned, I mentioned I already had some Aristophanes in my classics book, video thing which I will link somewhere um but this is basically Lysistrata which is one of my favourite plays um the Acheronians and the Clouds and they're basically Greek old comedy I, f I find Aristophanes very very funny because it's so crude and political and it's just really really good so these should be very enjoyable I also got another play I got Shakespeare's Julius Caesar going kind of along the classic routes a lot of these were non-fiction and that's how I justify buying them because I'm like oh yeah it'll help me with my knowledge it's not like fiction that argument soon kind of didn't work later on but it works for now um I really got in guess I've really gotten into Shakespeare recently so I think reading Julius Caesar would be really good um, my last book I got from there, it's quite heavy and large, is um, Civilization by Kenneth Clark. Um, this was a TV show in the 60s, possibly? I'm not entirely sure. My parents kind of saw it and were like, ooh, you would enjoy that. So I was like, okay, sure. Do you think so? I think they wanted to read it, but it looks really, really good. And it's basically documenting, because so, you can see here, I think that might be the School of Athens painting but I'm not don't quote me I'm just literally going off my very limited art history knowledge um anyway so it's basically documenting the civilizations throughout kind of time should be really interesting 
When I was in Wigton, I also went into another independent bookshop um, and I got some Euripides plays. He's a tra Greek tragedy writer. Um, so these are, you know, your classic tragedy, Hippolytus, Iphigenia and Taurus and Ephestes. So, and finally, the last book that I got in Wigton was one about Greek art. I'm studying Greek art next year and I think it'd be really useful um, and it also would go really well with the book on Roman art that I got recently which is in my classics TBR video um, and this is, is it will um, cover some of the stuff that I'm learning in class but it will also cover other stuff um, like I think it does mosaic no that's Roman oh my god what am I doing in my life it what does it do coins that would be interesting and jewelry and just kind of you know not just because i'm simply doing uh architecture and vases i'm pretty sure so, um so this will um broaden my knowledge etc etc can i just say i do now slightly regret putting my botticelli poster right behind me because it keeps on focusing on it and not me <sighs> So while we were in Scotland, we also went to visited Glasgow for the day because I'm kind of looking at the uni and obviously when we were up in the West End where the uni is, we, I found, I googled before we left and I found some independent bookstore, bookstores and I was like, we have to go and so we did. So the bookshop that I kind of dragged my parents into was called Voltaire and Rousseau and oh my god, it is like the best bookshop which I have ever been in. The, it was second hand, so the books were, like, majority of the bookshops that I went into um, are second hand, so the book, books are really, really cheap. And you walk in, and there's just stacks of books. If you are near Glasgow or anything like that, just please go there. It's amazing. I'm in love with it. <laughs> so the first book I got from that amazing bookshop was Woman in Love by D.H. Lawrence. And this book has caused me a lot of stress finding it so I've got to read it partly for schools to kind of like as part of um, I'm not actually studying it but to kind of broaden um, the whole like subject if that makes sense it's for English um, and my mum was like oh yeah we have it in the house somewhere we looked everywhere in the house we found every single other D.H. Lawrence book we have uh, The Rainbow we have Lady Chatterley's Lover and we just didn't have Women in Love and it was just you know I was going wild trying to find it so then I found this it was like one pound or something and that's like you know it ticks all the boxes so it's basically about four characters Gudrun, Ursula, Birkin and Gerald and they all kind of like fall in love with each other and have like passionate love affairs and everything like that and I'm not entirely sure but I think it should be very interesting. I also got The Go Between by L.P. Hartley this is another kind of classic um it's set in early 1900s I think and basically it's this old man who's looking back into his time when he was in child uh, uh, looking back at his childhood in which there was um, this woman who was kind of, of like mid middle class like his class who fell in love with a so it was a farmer and they fell in love and obviously it was illicit and everything so he passed messages between them and it kind of um, it escalates and then you know he, he he's traumatized by it etc. This was recently in a BBC TV adaptation which I watched and I really really enjoyed it and it was one of three and it was this one Lady Chatty's Lover and The Scandalous Lady W and I enjoyed all three of them and so I really hope that this one will be as good as the TV show. I also got The Aztecs of Mexico which is another pelican kind of book uh, to go like I said I, I have two of them already and I know nothing really about the Aztecs so I think this is going to be really interesting just to explore uh, there expand my knowledge about the world and etc i also got a book on the odes of horace like i said earlier with my sappho book i'm studying kind of greek and roman lyric poetry and so just having you know his odes they are in latin and english but i just need the english i'm just doing them in translation but you know i'm gonna like um analyze them and like school over it and it's good that i have my own copy rather than kind of one of the library where I can't really, you know, use it as much. Um, so I think that's going to be really helpful. And it's just all his poems that he did, um, which should be good. He's um, he's a Roman poet, by the way. I kind of missed that out. Um, and Sappho was a Greek poet from the island of Lesbos. But yeah. I also got The Voyage of Argo by Apollonius of Rhodes. Um, this is, I think it's an epic poem. Um, and it's basically documenting... Uh, Jason and the argument, Argonauts, even, arguments, uh, their journey around uh, to get the Golden Fleece. 
and then they and this is where kind of Midair begins and yeah so their journey is quite Odyssean I think and it should be really interesting and finally the last book that I got in Glasgow was Shakespeare four of his comedies so it's Taming of the Shoe, Midsummer's Night's Dream, As You Like It and Twelfth Night like I said I've really gotten into Shakespeare recently but I've only really looked at his tragedies I've only ever studied uh, Hamlet and Romeo and Juliet and a bit of Macbeth but mainly Hamlet and Romeo and Juliet so I thought you know quite light-hearted I'll go for some comedies this time um, and they should be really good I think and finally the last book I got this was from back in London it was from Waterstones off Tottenham Court Road which is one of my new favourite Waterstones it's got about four floors so not as, not as big as Piccadilly Waterstones but it's so magical you go up and there's, it's like a maze and they have like signs and it's like crying this way fantasy like around the back and it's just so magical and it's yeah it's wonderful I really like it and they're really helpful there and I got uh, some poetry I got The World's Wife by Carol Ann Duffy she's the poet laureate I think she's still the poet laureate I'm not 100% sure though and it's they're basically poems and they're, they're from the perspective of the wife or the sister of really famous mythological or historical characters so there's like Frau Freud there's Eurydice who's Orpheus's wife there's also Medusa there's Circe Mrs Darwin Queen Herald, Mrs Midas, you know, I think it's going to be really interesting to see kind of their perspectives, especially as a lot of the characters are quite mythological around my street. Um, I think it's very feminist as well, so that should be like an extra conciter and I should hopefully really enjoy them. So that was my pretty large and um, I think first book haul that I've done on this channel. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and I really hope for my sake that I stop buying books because I ha I need to read them before I buy them. You know what, actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to only allow myself to buy a book once I've read like five. Do you, do you think that would work? I hope so. I might try that. You guys have to like hold me account because if I don't, if I buy a new book and I haven't read like a f at least a few, you guys have to be like, no, no, no. No, you have to read more, not just buy them all. Yeah, like I said, that was it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've read any of them or have any like suggestion, actually no, no suggestion. I can't read, I can't buy more books. Anyway, okay, just leave a comment and we can have a chat about books and I will see you soon. Goodbye.